Hello, hello guys, Kaza here, back with another video. In today's video I've got something a little different for you, a bit of a shortened match uh, match clip here. Um, gameplay footage that's just uh, the first what, two, three minutes trimmed off. Um, just so uh, we can uh, get to the juicy parts that's coming up here in this, uh, this match on Islands of Ice. Hope you guys enjoy the match and let's jump straight into the gameplay here. Alright. So before we go any further, let's quickly take a look at the commander that we're using for this match on the North Carolina. Is uh, William Sims, of course, inspired by Andrew Cunningham and Azalan Chanos, just a standard double accuracy build. Make these guns as accurate as possible. Alright, so, the first uh, introductory sequence you saw there was uh, getting a double citadel on that broadside Fuso. And uh, hopefully we will be able to finish him off pretty soon here. And, uh, yeah, for this, uh, another nice hit there. Uh, for this match, uh, I'm on the left hand flank and um, I'm trying my best to get into a crossfire flanking position to uh, maximize crossfires here. As you guys can see on the minimap um, from the spawn point from the the, the the side that we spawned on the left hand side of this epicenter circle um, I'm pushing as far north as I possibly can without exposing my uh, broadside too much to the, uh, the ships on my right and I'm focusing on the ships in the center trying to push down into the epicenter itself. And as you can see there, another beautiful hit on that grab speed. And um, yeah, just uh, trying to get as much uh, crossfires going here as possible. So we do see Nelson there as well, and full health Ishmael. And of course we want to finish off this grab speed as quickly as possible. So with our next reload we'll be taking aim at that grab speed. If no one else kills it before our shells get there, we should have uh, the grabs be finished. You see he is turning out a little bit, that's why we aimed up a little bit higher there. To compensate for the fact that he was turning out. And pull three pens, one of a pen, and that's the end of the grabs B. His match is over. Alright, very nice. So yeah, um, I am in a division with a destroyer. And uh, he is the only destroyer on our team, as the enemy team also has only one destroyer. And there's no aircraft carriers for this match. So, um... My division mate and the destroyer can uh, push um, as hard as he wants all the way to the north and uh, send torpedoes into the center of the map here. As we see a beautiful broadside Ismail that we can shoot at here. Shells out in the air, long travel time and uh, hopefully we can get some nice results. Nice another citadel taking our damage shuttle all the way up to 130,000 so far for this match. Very nice. Yeah, so uh, I'm using this island in front of me to uh, get a little bit of cover from the Nelson as I don't, don't want to get shot by the Nelson's high explosive shells or AP shells for that matter um, for uh, any duration of the match here. I want to be as safe from the Nelson as possible as he can overmatch my bow. And um, we want to be focusing that broadside Ismail and hopefully we can get rid of him. <laughs> Triple Citadel, boom, death strike. And that Ismail is no longer with us. <laughs> Alright, so we do have a Nelson and a Duke of York to deal with. As you can see, they're not presenting broadsides. That so we can't get, um, get these guys and shoot their broadsides. But uh, what we can do is we can still overmatch their bow. As you'll see pretty soon here, we... Uh, Managed to get one to double pin on the Nelson there, very nice. And uh, hopefully our destroyer can um, pop some torpedoes in that direction and hopefully get a few hits, get some floods going. Alright, looks like the Nelson dodged that uh, those first two sets of torpedoes. But we will still be uh, focusing on um, the Nelson here, I believe, for the, for the time being, as we see his guns are not pointing at us. We know it's safe to get off our rear gun as well. We aim a little bit deeper into the center mass of the ship there as we see the Duke of York shooting us with a high explosive volley. And of course, one shell that actually hits us and it's a fire. That's usually how it goes. Alright, so we're gonna let this fire burn I believe. Unless we are safely behind cover and we're gonna stay behind cover, but I doubt that's gonna be the case here. Alright, so currently we are equal on ships. The enemy team has captured the, uh, the first uh, center, center ring here. And uh, as we see the Duke of York there, also trying to take aim at him. And uh, there comes uh, his salvo. The Colorado is shooting us and the Nelson also shot us. So that's uh, why we are being focus fired here a bit. 
But yeah, so far we've had uh, the grab speed that was broadside to us very nice that we could have uh, we hit very hard there and we also hit that Ismail for everything he had. So now we are um, focusing these three battleships here. We are still searching for broadside, seeing where we can uh, get our um, damage from. And uh, currently the Colorado is presenting the best, uh, best angle for us to get some nice pins. And hopefully we can uh, get some more damage on the board here. Unfortunately we only get one overpen on the Colorado there. Uh, I think I aimed too low, I should have aimed a little higher as it was turning in. And if you look on the minimap you see the angle of the Colorado there, he was uh, almost uh, angling in towards me so I think that's why my shells missed. Nelson giving up a little bit more of that uh, broadside, which is very nice. But as you can see he's not completely broadside, so what do I do? I aim up. A little bit higher because I know he was going to turn in and luckily we only got two pens there. But if I aimed waterline there and he turned in I would have just gotten ricochets from his armor belt and that would have been zero damage. So that's why I aimed up, I knew he was going to turn back in. And of course that luckily in there is uh, setting us in a double fire which is uh, horrible for us. And uh, here my division mate is trying to uh, rescue me by um, dropping me a smoke screen so I can disengage and heal a bit. And he's also coming in to give me Wall Street build, which is a very nice, uh, nice thing for that uh, division mate of mine to do. Problem I really solved, appreciate sir. that. All right, so Colorado is nearly broadside again. We lost him there as soon as uh, we were about to fire, but we still fired anyway on his uh, trajectory. We see the Nelson shells going overhead, and uh, yeah, we got two penetrations and one. Oh, sorry, a bigger part of one penetration and two other penetrations on that Colorado. That uh, was presenting a near broadside angle there, but he's angling in now again, so uh, we need to be careful. We did take another salvo there from, I believe, the Duke of York, but uh, nothing nothing serious. We are still on Wilshire Build. And uh, yeah, Wilshire Build is definitely a very, very, very strong skill, and uh, sometimes it's uh, easy to misuse it. Two battleships. Uh, Helping each other, preventing them from dying is uh, sometimes a bit rough for the enemy team to deal with as we get our confederate middle there. So currently we're on a high caliber confederate and a dev strike middle, very nice, 205,000 damage. But we're not done yet folks, there's still a lot more, a lot more to come. The ship is on fire. We are safely behind the island again, which means no one can uh, shoot us. I believe the neither, the neither of those battleships can lob over this island. And hit us, as you can see, we can't even take aim, but we can take aim at the Galicionaire. And uh, we do take, uh, take a shot there. We put out that fire that was burning, because we don't want to lose any more hit points, because we're about to run out of Wall Street Build. So we want to be very careful. And yeah, we are safe from uh, the battleship shooting us here, but the Galicionaire can still get us at this, uh, this height of this island, so we need to be careful. I'm glad that there wasn't a fire there. It could have been a lot worse for us. We got lucky, but uh, yeah, suddenly we just got spotted and I got a detected ribbon. And uh, suddenly there's a full health Akatsuki right behind me. I suddenly decided to uh, show up and uh, turning my guns. Here I am waiting patiently for him to go broadside again. Waiting patiently and then I eventually take the shot before he disappears. We do manage to take 4,323 4, damage off him, there were 3 pens, which is nice. But uh, it's really strange to see that I'm the first one on the team to hit that destroyer, he hasn't been spotted. So uh, yeah, it's uh, difficult, because now I'm all alone here, I don't have uh, any support. My destroyer is in the north trying to torpedo these battleships and uh, I'm left all alone to deal with this destroyer. But uh, we'll make the best of a sticky situation. And unfortunately the Colorado did uh, kill my division mate in the destroyer there, which is uh, very rough for us. But we do see a broadside Nelson there, so we're turning our turrets. And um, we see he's gonna eat torpedoes, we're just waiting to check. Yeah, okay, he ate torpedoes, very nice. So we don't waste a salvo. Alright, so do there we see the Colorado again. Almost broadside, so we aim a little bit higher. Put out that fire again and... Um, we do get him very for a very nice hit, just shy of 18,000 damage. Another Citadel. And hopefully we'll have one more reload before we die here. Just hoping that uh, the Colorado focuses on that uh, battleship 
in front of us as we do get hit by the destroyer there. From the side, he's unspotted in his smoke screen, but uh, we're still spotted so he can shoot us. Alright, so, and Duke of York aiming up into the superstructure to try and get a few penetrations through the deck. Hopefully we get some nice damage there. Yes, 7,400, very nice, four pens. And we incapacitated something on the Duke of York there. And here I realize my f it's time, my time has come. Yeah, Katsuki is rushing me with torpedoes. So um, hopefully I can get off one more salvo before I die. But uh, that most, most likely will not be the case as I'm the only ship left and um, we're about to lose. It's been a very fun match so far in the Carolina. Uh, we're on borrowed, uh, borrowed time here. 208 points and unfortunately the match ends before I could my shells could reach that Colorado. But yeah, this is just uh, a quick little video to show the power of uh, flanking and uh, getting good positioning for crossfires. As you saw there, we were on the left flank pushing up into the middle of the map on the left hand side and we got some nice penetrations there. We end off on a defeat with um, 238,000 damage, 1,921 base XP with two kills for um, a very interesting match in the North Carolina. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little sequence of events and I hope to bring you guys more content in the following weeks. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.